Yeah, people ask, continue to ask, how do I rig uh, my, my floats, the ones that I make? Whether it's the short float or the long float doesn't matter. It's the same basic rig. The most successful rig, that rig that I used early when I started making these and selling them. First, to start with a bead, this happens to be eight millimeter. Six millimeter is better, but I just have some for fly tying. I, I depends on whether or not I have these in stock, whether or not I will include them. It just usually depends, but put the bead on first. Put the float on second. Okay. Okay, then at the end, tie whatever fly or hook or bait or whatever you're gonna use. Use whatever knot you like. I'll use a Palmer typically. Trim off the tag in. Wow, that fly's just totally coming loose. That's one of my uh, damsel flies. Uh, they're totally out of season now, but uh, so you have the damsel fly, and up from that, we're gonna put a split shot. How much split shot do you put? Well, it depends on the float, and it depends on the cocking weight. If you haven't seen the video on the cocking weight, watch the video on the cocking weight. You wanna put just and barely enough weight to make that float turn upright and sit upright. So, uh, and that, they are generally all use about the same cocking weight, generally. And that's, I don't know, about three inches up from the fly or the lure or your worms or crickets or whatever you're fishing with. See? There. All right. Now, and it uh, also stops the, it also stops the, uh, the bobber from going all the way down and coming off, all right? All right? Now you have a bead here on this side, remember, the bead? How do you stop the bead? Get you some yarn or some string or some twine or some whatever. I'm just gonna use some yarn. I use this yarn here for tying flies. In fact, I got some super, some spiders I gotta tie for a customer. And you know, you just do overhand loops. This is just basic yarn out of the five. This is like a five overhand knot. You'll pull it tight. People look at my floats and they just don't see how it attaches to the line. They just don't see that. It's a slip float. It's designed to slip so you can set your depth. I've done, I've demonstrated that plenty of times on the channel, but for some reason, it seems it, uh, it gets hard for people to find things. So it's just a slip float. Now you see the yarn and the bead? The, the yarn stops the bead, stops the cork. Or, you know, now why would you do that? Because if all I want to fish is, yeah, it's a little bit. If all I want to fish is that deep, when I cast out, vings, plop and it hits the water like that. It hits the water like that and the line will just continue to fall, fall, fall until it hits that and that weight will just sit up just like that. That's what it's for. That's how that works. If I want to fish 20 feet deep, all I do is move this little piece of yarn 20 feet and it'll reel up through the guides of the of the uh, float onto the reel and then when I cast vzz, plop remember the um, the bait and the hook is on this side and you're fishing 20 foot of water that split shot will start sinking down through the water column it'll sink really sink sink Sink, sink. We need more line. We need more line. <laughs> oh, come on, really? This is why I hate fishing with rod and reel. I can't stand it. I absolutely hate fishing with rod and reel. I just don't have these kind of problems with the hand line. It sinks, sinks, sinks until that bead comes up. It's better to use a six millimeter bead, and I'm out of six millimeters. 
So it'll continue to sink, 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 sink. Bam, until that bead hits that piece of yarn and that weight will pull that thing up and just make it sit there in the water. And that's what makes it so sensitive because if the fish is playing with it, it'll telegraph what the fish is doing with the float. And you'll learn a lot about the fish behavior uh, by using these floats. Which ones? I recommend the long ones because they're the most sensitive. But they're not the best to use in shallow water. So I would use the smaller ones for shallow water. And even if you are in shallow water, you can shallow it up. I mean, you can shallow this up. Remember the bead thing we're talking about? Say so you're fishing in like one feet of water. Just, if you know you're gonna fish that deep under the float, just set your bead that deep. And then bam, it'll just, you cast it out, it'll hit the water, plop, and then bam. All right, it'll just hit the water like that. You'll know when it hits the bottom because once that, once that weight of the bottom hits that, it'll just lay back down. Or if it's kind of half lazily grazing the bottom, it'll be kind of like that. All right. If it's totally off the bottom, it'll just be straight up and down if you have the conking weight set properly. Uh, you can also tell the direction of the wind versus the direction of the current that tells you because, because it's a waggler, all the line is under the water, not above the water like on a lot of other floats. So the line will tell you the direction of the current and the bobber, since it's half of it is out of the water, will tell you the direction of the wind and you can help, you can better do your drifts or help set your trolling motor at a better angle or cast in a different way that'll drift a little bit closer to the bank or further away from the bank, depending on what you want to do. It's really a tool. This thing really just replaces uh, sonar, if you ask me. <laughs> I mean, it, it, you know, because it tells you what's going on with the bottom. It tells you how deep it is. It tells you which direction the wind is going, and it's very sensitive as to where, what the fish are doing with the actual, um, with the float. And so with that, I'm gonna go in here and finish watching the Georgia-Auburn game. And I, I'll be on the river early next week. Now that we're starting to get caught up on these fishing reels. But I just wanted to let you know someone overseas was asking about these floats and that's exactly how they work. Um,